I wanted to ask you about CSIS. So yesterday yes. you had indicated that your um, staff had received a briefing and that yep. that briefing wasn't really substantive. I, I wanted to know from you, what exactly did CSIS tell your office? Did they raise okay. issues about Vincent Kerr? Did they give you any kind of evidence um, or did they sure. share any of their concerns? So Colin, what, what happened, I guess an article came out, so our, our staff requested a meeting with CSIS. They sat down, had a, a quick discussion with them. There wasn't a lot uh, that we didn't already see in the paper or the article. And we just want Vincent uh, to clear his name and get back with uh, the, the team. He, it was his choice to step aside, and uh, we're, we're going to see what happens here. But uh, in my opinion, Vincent's a, a good person. He's an important part of our team. He's going to clear his name, and then he'll die, be back with us. So what should Ontarians take from your support of Vincent Cove? CSIS has some kind of a concern, but you're saying there is a path for him back into caucus. Does if that mean... Clears, if he clears his name, Colin. Fair enough, fair enough. If he enough. doesn't clear his name, then he's not going to be part of our party. But, but how are you approaching what uh, these allegations from CSIS or this investigation or suspicions from CSIS are. Do you believe what CSIS is suspecting here or is this in your view just much ado about nothing? I'll be very frank as I said yesterday they were pretty vague so you know I again if he clears his name he'll be part of our party if he doesn't clear his name I guess he'll have more issues to deal with. Hi, Premier. Laura, Hi. Laura Stone, hey, Globe Laura. and Mail. Just on the clearing his name element, how do you expect Mr. Kerr to clear his name? I understand he has a lawyer who, who's represented you in the past. Do you think he's going to sue over this? Like, what is the process for clearing his uh, you name? You know, that, that's going to be up to Vincent and up to CSIS. Uh, again, you can't throw someone's name out there and, and, uh, and not give the, the uh, person an opportunity to clear it. Nothing's worse than... Uh, being accused of something and the media gets a hold of it and runs it and and it's not the media's fault that's your job um, it's, it's just an unfortunate situation very unfortunate but again um, when, it, when it comes to elections and this is a federal government I have zero tolerance for any outside interference any nonsense that's going on uh, we live in a democratic society and uh, no one's going to dictate to any Ontarian who they should vote for and what party they should vote for. Uh, that's, that's our democratic right and that's why we have the greatest jurisdiction, greatest country in the world.